Megan Link. Alright, I'm gonna record a video. Do you wanna be in it? No, you'd rather play. But I'm, I'm gonna talk about goat milk soap. Do you do you like goat milk soap? <gasps> you do! Is it very tasty? Yeah, I agree. Alright, let me record and then we'll play. Hey guys, it's Katie from Shire Ranch. Today I am going to be telling you guys or talking about goat's milk soap, why goat's milk soap, and um, our holiday fragrances. So those of you who know me in person probably know that when I was in California, I had a small herd of Nubian dairy goats that I um, raised and I milked every single day. Um, and I used their milk to not only drink for myself and make yummy foods, I used their milk in goat's milk soap. I used it as the liquid in the soap. Um, and I don't have my goats anymore. That will happen again in the future. Don't worry about that. I'm always going to be a crazy goat lady. Um, and, um, but I, I stocked up before I left California on making tons of batches of soap. So we still have plenty of soap in stock and we would love to supply you guys with Christmas presents, cr presents for yourself. It doesn't really matter to us. Um, but what I'm going to highlight today is our six holiday fragrances, kind of fall holiday fragrances, and also talk to you guys about why use goat milk soap. What's so great about it? Let's talk, let's first do a little bit of a soap lesson. So soap is made up of fats, um, so oils and lye and a liquid. Um, so most soaps that are homemade use water as a liquid, usually like distilled water, very clean water. Um, I, on the other hand, used exclusively goat, excuse, exclusively goat milk as the liquid. It completely replaced the water. We did not water it down at all. So what does goat, what does that do for the soap? Well, it adds vitamins minerals and amino acids to the soap to transfer to your skin. Oh, Gimli's being cute. Um, so what are some things that goat's milk contains? One, selenium. And what does selenium do? It is an awesome skincare mineral. Um, what else? Alpha, hydrox alpha hydroxy acids, like lactic acid. It's an excellent, it's an excellent exfoliator. It increases the blood flow to skin and helps remove dead skin cells and which you don't want on your skin anyway. So it makes your skin look younger, smoother, all that good stuff. It also contains lots of vitamins, vitamins A, B1, B6, B12, C, and E. We don't have to add those in unless we want more of them. Um, also, it contains minerals, and this is kind of dependent on where you live and what you're feeding your goats, um, but it contains zinc, copper, iron, fatty acids, antioxidants, magnesium, and magnesium. Um, it, uh, it has caprylic acid lipids and proteins um the when with lipids and proteins the fat molecules diminish skin inflammation and help soothe dry and damaged skin and helps to retain moisture which we all know is a good thing um so um goat's milk is an awesome thing um to add to your to add to soaps to buy soaps with made with goat's milk um, so let's go ahead and dig into our, our six soaps that we are highlighting today. So this is what our soaps look like in their packaging. So this is how they all, they all arrive to you. Um, we are working on transitioning to, from our Nubian Dairy Goat stamp to a Shire Ranch shop stamp and 
eventually will have the actual name of the soap on the outside, which will be really awesome. All right, so let's get in, let's get into these. So we have two sizes of soap. These, these small ones are one to two ounces. This one is Myrtle May's, let's see, Myrtle May's Pumpkin Spice. It's not really focusing on that, but um, it smells awesome. Um, so it's a pumpkin spice. This one is made with, our ingredients are raw goat's milk, lard, olive oil, sodium hydroxide, and fragrance oils. Um, so this is the one to two ounce bar. And then we also have a larger bar. It's a four to six ounce bar. And this is Christmas spice. And sometimes the straightness in the bag stick on, but that's okay. Um, it's Christmas spice. Let's see. There we go. It doesn't really like to focus on those. But same as um, the pumpkin spice, it ha is raw goat's milk, lard, olive oil, sodium hydroxide, and fragrance oils. So... That's another one. Actually, I'm going to leave these out as I go through these. So we also have Myrtle Ma a Pumpkin Spice. That one looks very rustic. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the best one. Yes! This is one of my favorites. It is called App Jack Jack Attack Apple Jack Peel. Um, it smells like apple cider, and I love this soap. Like, there's really, like, I say that my favorite changes all the time, but probably this is my actual true favorite soap. Yeah, I said I'm leaving them out. I forget these things. This is not the other Apple Jack, so this is the smaller one. So I'll show you. So these are the two different sizes. So right here is a small one to two ounce, and here is the four to six ounce, or four to five ounce, sorry, four to five ounce. Um, so they are both awesome soaps. The four to six ounce soap is a good size travel soap. The larger four to five ounce bars, um, they last a single person in the shower when they're well taken care of, probably about eight weeks, eight to 12 weeks. Um, so this is another one we have. We have Ginger Snap Harlow, um, which is smells like a ginger snap cookie. It smells awesome. Uh, it smells delicious, like, but don't eat it, but it smells delicious. Um, all our soaps are named after animals that I've had over the years. Um, so some of the names are pretty unique or special to me in some way. Um, this is Minerva's Christmas Spice again. And... I just realized I'm putting them, I'm leaving them out, but I'm putting them off screen. So I'll start putting them on screen for you guys. So this is um, Timothy's or Timber's um, Christmas Forest. It smells like a pine tree, just like a Christmas tree. It's amazing. Um, great Christmas fragrance. And that's a small bar. Oh, here's another one. This is Esme's Pumpkin Souffle. It smells, um, smells like a pumpkin-y um, cake, I would say. Um, so we have, that's Christmas Spice. Where's Pumpkin Spice? Here's Pumpkin Spice. 
So we have pumpkin spice and pumpkin souffle, and they're really similar. The pumpkin spice smell smells definitely more spicy, and this smells more like a cake or cookie. Um, and they all make your skin feel awesome and great. And this is the Christmas Forest, the larger bar of the two. And my last one to open, and I'll go ahead and put what I've been pushing off screen, put it on screen. And this is the tiny pumpkin souffle. So let's see if I can kind of match everything up. Um, So the one, that's Applejack peel, Timber's Christmas Forest, here. This one, um, Ginger Snap Harlow, we don't, we no longer have any small bars. So just so you're aware of that. All right, so let me tell you a little bit more about our soaps. So here's another scale. Um, our four to five ounce bar and our one to two ounce bar. This is the Christmas Spice. Um, so all our soaps are made using goat's milk as a liquid. Um, and then the majority of our soaps, are the two, we use two oils or two fats. We use olive oil and lard. Um, my goal and using those was to make a long lasting soap that is good for your skin. Um, this lather, it has a creamy lather rather than a bubbly lather. If I use an oil such as um, avocado oil or um, I'm blanking on the names of the oils. Um, other oils, um, castor oil, castor oil has a really great bubble. Um, but bubbles don't mean it's cleaning very well necessarily. So I wanted a cleansing, hard, um, good for your skin soap with oils that I could, honestly, that at the time I could source locally. Um, I don't think I could source olive oil actually locally now um, because of where I live, but I could source lard, definitely. Um, and lard makes an awesome hard bar of soap. Um, we, then we also use, um, a lot of our soaps use fragrance oil. We're probably about two thirds fragrance oil, one third with essential oils. Um, we do have soaps with essential oils that use solely essential oils. So if you don't want any fragrance oils, you just want like natural oils, we do have those. We also have a Castile soap, which is a 100% olive oil soap. Um, it is called a pure, we call it a pure soap. And then we have a plain soap, which is an unscented of our base recipe, olive oil, lard, and goat's milk, and then sodium hydroxide, which is lye. Um, and then we also have an unscented shea bar, which has um, uh, shea butter and um, clay in it to, so that the razor um, glides a lot smoother. Um, what other special ones do I have? Um, those are kind of the main special ones. We, like I said, we do have over 40 different fragrances and types of soaps. Um, we are on Etsy, so check us out there and we ship worldwide. Um, and, um, I, the shipping is a little wonky. I'm still trying to, after years, still trying to figure out the best way of shipping without breaking my bank or yours. Um, but I do reimburse um, shipping overages. So know that. Um, so if you have any questions about our soaps, whether they're the six that I showed you here today or our other soaps, I'd be happy to answer your questions about them. Um, and so leave a comment below if you have questions. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of what we do, hit the subscribe button below. And um, until next time, guys, goodbye.